the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, I adore thee profoundly. I offer thee the most precious body and blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ present in all the tabernacles of the world in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifferences by which he is offended. And through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart and of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I beg of thee the conversion of poor sinners. Amen. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. Sancti Michael Archangeli, defendi nos imperio, contra nequitia met insidias diaboli esto presidium, imperatiri Deus supiceste precamor, tuque princeps militiae celestis, satana maniosque spiritus manignos, quel perditione manimarum pervagantur in mundo, divina virtute in infernitrude. Amen. Our Lady of the Rosary, pray for us. As we prepare to enter into these joyful mysteries, now that our Lord is just a couple hours away, this great celebration of the birth of God become man, of Jesus, of the most holy night that's beyond words is almost upon us. And so I'll be sharing with you uh, some, some customs, a beautiful example of how a family used to live this time of Christmas that I hope will be inspiring for your own families. And among the many intentions, all of which I'm praying for, special greetings to Arietta and Sophocles from Greece. It's wonderful hearing from you again. Uh, it's always great having you as members of the Rosary Crusade praying with us from Greece. And congratulations on your 22nd wedding anniversary yesterday. Uh, that's a tremendous grace and blessing. And Arietta writes in to give you an example of what so many of our, our Rosary Crusade members are carrying and so that you can pray for her and her husband. She says, please pray for my healing. I have a serious sickness in the bones and suffer almost constant pain for many years. And for my husband to have good health and have a permanent job so that we can pay for our medical expenses. And so we will certainly pray for you right now. And beginning with the Midnight Mass tonight, and then for the next <clears throat> eight days, I'll be offering a Novena of Masses for all of you. That is, for all those who are the benefactors of this apostolate, of, of everything that I'm doing, who support my priestly work in any way. And you, all of you do that through your daily prayers and the Rosary. And there's some of you, a small group of you, but I'm extremely grateful for who make regular sacrifices each month to make this rosary possible, uh, and Ave Philomena, or who give once a year. And I can't thank you enough. It's really amazing to me how God has provided just what we need, usually not more, but just what we need to, uh, to be able to provide this, provide for the sisters who are coming. So thank you so much for that, and I'll be praying for you and for all of you for then thanksgiving and asking god to give you the graces you need during these next during these nine masses saint joseph terror of demons cast thy solemn gaze upon the devil and all his minions and protect us with thy mighty staff thou fled through the night to avoid the devil's wicked designs now, with the power of God, smite the demons as they flee from thee. Grant special protection, we pray, for children, fathers, mothers, families, and the dying. By God's grace, no demon dares approach while thou art near. So we beg of thee, St. Joseph, always be near to us. Amen. St. Joseph, the terror of demons, pray for us. Eternal Father, we offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, 
in union with the Mass is said throughout the world today. For all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first joyful mystery, the Annunciation to the Blessed Virgin Mary. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, an increase of humility. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, fraternal charity. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The third joyful mystery, the birth of our Savior at Bethlehem. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, a spirit of poverty. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation of the child Jesus in the temple. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, a spirit of obedience 
and purity. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. The fifth joyful mystery, the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, an increase of love for our divine Savior. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. O Jesus, I choose to live this day for love of thee, for the conversion of sinners, and in reparation for the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Amen. Redemptoris Mater, quae per via celi porta manes, et stella maris succure cadenti, surgere qui curat populo, tuque genuisti natura mirante, Tuvum sanctum genitorem. Mirgo prigus ac posterius, Gabrieli sabore, Sumens iludave, Peccatorum miserere. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God to be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God, through the intercession of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Pour his graces upon each one of your families. Benedictio Dei Omnipotentis, Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti, Descendat super vos et maniat semper. Amen. Thank you very much for being part of this Our Lady of Fatima Rosary Crusade. And if you, if you have time to stay with me a few more minutes, I'm going to read for you what I find a very beautiful account of how Catholic families used to live Christmas, one example of it. And it's an example from uh, someone that many of you will know or know of, and that is from Maria von Trapp. 
So from the movie The Sound of Music, the real Maria von Trapp, this is from how her family used to live Christmas in Vermont. So she really did, she and her family fled in 1942 and came to the U.S. And this was written in the decades that followed. I'm not sure which year it was. Uh, perhaps it was written in the 1950s. And it gives us a glimpse at how many, many, how Catholic families, um, many of them around the world, used to live Christmas. And so I'm thinking of mothers especially reading this. And so mothers, if you hear this and it sounds maybe very beautiful, don't be discouraged. Whatever you're doing for your family, thank you for that. But it's kind of like when we read about the lives of the saints. We could read about them and say, oh, I'm so far from that, so I guess I shouldn't read that because that's just discouraging. No, on the contrary, we read about the lives of the saints to say that's what's possible with the grace of God. And so even a poor sinner like me, there's so much more that's possible and how good God is and how wonderful it is with His grace that such things can happen. And so receive this in this light. Maria von Trapp is not, uh, to the best of my knowledge, is not uh, a saint or going to be canonized as a saint, but it gives us a glimpse of what our family, because the Catholic Church, our family, our ancestors in the faith, how they used to live this time. And my hope is this will help your hearts enter into the celebration of Christmas. The giving of gifts must have been advanced to Christmas Eve. So this is Maria von Trapp writing herself. The giving of gifts must have been advanced to Christmas Eve in most Catholic countries in order that the grown-ups may devote themselves with a quiet mind unhindered by any commotion. And by the way, this is from, sorry, this is from the Benedictus, this wonderful publication, which I'm going to be reading out of here. It's a great publication in case you uh, wish to obtain it for yourself. The giving of gifts must have been advanced to Christmas Eve in most Catholic countries in order that the grown-ups may devote themselves with a quiet mind, unhindered by any commotion, to these great mysteries of the Holy Night. And so Christmas Eve is the day for our children. When the little ones get up in the morning, they find the door of the living room closed, and no one is allowed to go in, much less to peek through the keyhole, because the Christ child will come and bring the Christmas tree and all the gifts. Only mother and father may assist him. Christmas Eve is Confession Day. Once more we listen to the voice of St. John the Baptist, who admonishes us to prepare the way of the Lord and to do penance. When the Holy Child is entrusted into our hearts at midnight in our Christmas communion, he shall find the place clean and swept and warm with love. There is a certain hush all through the house. People are tiptoeing and whispering. At the same time, there is an atmosphere of extreme activity. Mother and father spend the day behind the closed doors helping the Christ child. In our house, the large Christmas tree a 12-foot-high, beautiful, thick balsam fir requires a lot of time to be decorated in the old way. During the preceding nights, the older children have wrapped up candles in tinfoil or in tissue paper with fringed edges and have then tied red thread to the candles. Note they really burned uh, live candles on their tree. I'm not sure I'd recommend that today, but that's what they did. As well as to hundreds of cookies were also hung from the tree. They are hung on the tree first. On the lower branches, we also hang small apples and tangerines. Then come Christmas tree decorations from our home studios. Angels and stars worked in silver or brass, which will glitter later in the light of the candles. Yes, candles, because there will be six dozen small candle holders with real candles fastened to the branches. On either side of the tree, there will be a camouflaged bucket with water and a mop with a long handle, just in case. So far, we have never needed it. Next, dozens of packages of tinsel are emptied on twigs and branches. And the last touch is silver chains spinning in spiderweb fashion, crisscrossed from branch to branch. The final effect is like a fairy tale. Every so often, the mother is interrupted by a discreet knock at the closed door, and as she comes to open it, she can just hear steps running away. Anything and everything 
is a big secret today. As the mother opens the door just a little, she sees either a laundry basket or a cardboard box filled with many packages, each one with its name tag. So every one of the children comes with his gifts, for everyone has prepared something for everybody else. And they had ten children. In a large household such as ours, when we are without guests, we are 18. That means a great deal of arranging and rearranging until finally everything seems to be in its place. The last thing is to put the Christmas crib right next to the tree, the crib in the cold, dark cave where Mary and Joseph have arrived last night after evening prayers. When, finally, everything in the Christmas room, as the living room is called these days, is ready, the rest of the afternoon is devoted to tidying up the house. Not only the workshops and the rooms, but also every drawer and closet is put in order. Then we all dress in our feast day best. When it gets dusky outside, we meet in the chapel. Uh, note, before we had our chapel, we used to meet in a big bedroom upstairs. So at this point, they have a chapel in their house, but beforehand, they used to do this in a large bedroom. Besides the vigil light, there is only the little flame of the Advent candle burning. We say the rosary and sing every one of our Advent hymns, and at the end, a song to the Blessed Mother. When we are in the middle of it, one can hear clearly the ringing of a little silver bell. A suppressed sigh can be heard coming from the little ones. This is their hour, because the bell announces that the Christ child has come. Now we all go downstairs, and the double doors of the living room are wide open. A big Christmas tree stands there all ablaze in the light of many candles. Tables covered with white cloths are heaped with beautifully wrapped packages, gifts put there by love. First, the youngest in the family steps forward and recites the nativity story according to St. Luke. Then we sing for the first time, Silent Night, three verses in German and in English. For the first time at home, that is, we have sung it many times in our Christmas programs during the last weeks, always anticipating this moment when it would be sung at home. And then everyone wishes everyone else not a Merry Christmas, but a Blessed Christmas. Gesnete Vignachen, if I'm saying that right. After this, the mother leads everyone, everybody to his place. And for the next hour, the room is filled with happy exclamations. Then the bell rings for an early supper. This again is traditional. Carp with potato salad and his dessert, noch per torte. The first one who gets up from the table is the father. When he is fully dressed in his heavy winter coat, he takes a lantern containing a burning candle and stands all by himself in the hall and sings, Shepherds Up! an old Christmas carol that is sung only once a year. We never sing it earlier, and we never repeat it afterwards. As all through the house, the bedroom doors are opening, one by one the family comes down and joins the father in the song. Everyone comes ready to go, and everybody carries his lantern. There we stand now and sing verse after verse, each verse a tone higher, until all of us have gathered. And then we go out into ice and snow, because in Vermont, as well as in Austria, there is always a white Christmas, or almost always, to the little village church for midnight mass. Stowe, Vermont, being every bit as cold as Austria, and sometimes much colder, this trip always reminds us very much of Christmas in the old home. There, it was about a 10-minute walk to the little church of Egen Bay Salzburg, a village surrounded by mountains. We always used to linger a little bit in front of the church, listening to the strains of Silent Night, an Odie Frolike, played on horns from the church steeple, and watching the many little sparks coming down the mountains, the people carrying torches and lanterns. It looked as if stars were walking down the mountainside, a lovely picture. Now in our new home, Cor Unum, in Stowe, Vermont, we do it this way. As the church is three miles away, 
we do not walk there. On the way home from midnight mass, however, we leave the cars at the foot of the hill and walk up. This is a real treat. Parts of the road go through the woods, and as we climb the hill, the snow squeaking at every step, the stars seem to glitter much brighter than on any other night, and the cold, crisp winter air seems to be saturated with that peace that has been particular to the Christmas season ever since the first Christmas, when the angel announced it, and peace on earth to men of good will. At home, there awaits us another treat. Supper has been early, and everybody is hungry by now. So first there are hot boiled frankfurters with dark rye bread, then the famous Christmas punch, served with Christmas stolen. This get together after midnight mass in the Christmas room, which is filled with that indescribable Christmas smell, compounded of wax candles, like buchen, and balsam fir, has such a very special quality that even the word gemucht becomes inadequate. Gemutlich. Uh, it is hard to tear oneself away from the Christmas tree and the presents. The children, big and small alike, each take the favorite present along to bed. Christmas Day. The last, these are just the last couple paragraphs. Once all are asleep, it is not, however, a very long night. The morning finds us in chapel again. Having celebrated the angel mass at midnight, we return to the manger together with the simple guardians of the sheep, to the shepherd's mass, which should be said at dawn to be followed at broad daylight by a solemn high mass. It is as if the great mystery of the incarnation could not be contemplated enough in just one holy mass. The threefold coming of Christ, for which we have been praying and waiting for weeks, we like to celebrate in a threefold way. Already the little children get a sense of the immense importance and mystery of the day when they are summoned to church three times instead of once. Afterward, one is holily tired, as one of our little girls once said, and ready for Christmas dinner which brings the traditional goose, done just so. Dessert for Christmas dinner is the plum pudding, carried in a blaze with the lights turned out. On the evening of Christmas day, we gather in the Christmas room, light the tree again, and sing Christmas carols to our heart's delight. And so I wish you a very blessed last couple of hours before the clock strikes midnight and the great celebration of Christmas begins. And I'll look forward to praying the rosary with you tomorrow and all throughout the octave. God bless you.